I think that Germany's system does a really good job of making politics not so divisive and making it more about what you would like to see in your country. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Montana and if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I was an exchange student in Germany for um, August until March when I was sent back home and today I'm going to be making a video about political culture shocks that I noticed as a student or just as an American living in Germany and they range from things in the classroom to political elections and so uh, that is my topic for today. Hopefully they aren't the things that I'm talking about aren't too, too controversial. They're just honestly things that shocked me at first as an American being in the country. So my first one has to do, sorry if the lighting's changing, uh, there's sun coming out. Uh, the first one has to do with separation of church and state in the US. So basically in the US there aren't a lot of religion courses or at least in my school there aren't because there's this direct separation of church and state and it's pretty serious like there was this whole scandal at my high school one time because the Christian uh, club had painted a mural and then that was kind of against the codes of the school it was this whole big thing but anyway I was very surprised to come to German school and see that they have religion class um fifth through 12th grade in my school at least and it seemed very common to have religion classes in germany in my school there was a protestant class and then catholic and then if you didn't want to take religion you could uh take ethics but that was just a shock for me and then another shock was seeing in every classroom where I was, I was in Bavaria, keep in mind, there was a cross above the door normally, but sometimes it was just in another part of the classroom. And that really surprised me at first because you would not see that in American classrooms unless it was in like a private Christian school, which you'd have to um, pay to go to and that's a whole separate thing. But for the majority, public schools in America do not have an affiliation with religions and so that's very much avoided. Another political shock was just that people in Germany tend to be way more liberal than in the US. Um, I guess that's just how the government system there is set up and I never found that as a bad thing. It was just a shock to me because I didn't realize how much more liberal they tended to be in comparison to people in the US. Um, another political culture shock that I received was the overall questioning about Donald Trump and as soon as someone would find out I'm American that would be the first question do you like your president and in general there's an overall hatred for Donald Trump in Germany which um, I can kind of understand. Another school political culture shock was that in English class we talked about politics a lot and it was at a very high level English. I was super surprised to get into English class and to be discussing things like the stiff upper lip in Great Britain and how the social class systems of Britain are influencing the country even today and we talked about American politics and how it differs from German politics and all of the conversations were just very eye-opening especially Especially the ones involving American politics because it was cool to see how Germans are learning about how our government works and how our presidents are being chosen because the system is so different from Germany's. Um, I was just really surprised because if you were to take a German class in America you likely wouldn't be uh, learning about German politics you would just be learning the language. It was very interesting to see how the advanced English classes are able to talk about government and political issues. So I thought that was super cool. Those were all of my political culture shocks in regards to like school and society kind of. And now I'm going to talk about some of the political differences I saw when it comes to local elections or running to be a candidate. As soon as I was leaving my city, Passau, they were having elections and they had posters everywhere and I would see them and so this is kind of how I got the idea to make this video and it really surprised me how many candidates there were running for election and how different they all seemed from each other. I even saw uh, a girl running who was I think 18 or under 20. That was insane to me because I 
have never been so close or so involved in local government here where I live just because it's not advertised as much it's something that you need to step out of your way to do and honestly being in Germany has inspired me to do that and to get more involved in local politics here but having seen all of the advertisements for uh, politicians in Passau um, it was definitely a shock to see so many candidates running and it was also a shock to see people running that we personally knew so I don't I may have knew one or two of the people running, but my host family was telling me how a good number of the people on the ballot they personally have connections to, whether it be uh, a baker in the neighborhood or the mom of my host brother's closest friend or just people that they grew up knowing. And so it's really cool to see that local politics truly are local there in Germany at least, <laughs> and that they can be young people in college uh, or they're not all old people or <laughs> older people, they're younger people trying to get their word out there too and really represent what they want in their government. That was a big difference because in the US the majority of people running for office are over the age of 30 or 40 and tend to not represent the younger populations. Another when it comes to elections, like a political difference that I found is that Germany has so many political parties, it's less divisive than in the US because with our two party system it's so divisive and politics are kind of a taboo topic, like you don't bring them up with people that you don't know so well or especially with people that you do know very well and you don't share the same political opinions because it can be very uh, divisive honestly. I think that Germany's system does a really good job of making politics not so divisive and making it more about what you would like to see in your country. And there's like the Green Party, there's CDU, there's SPD, there's so many political parties. Unfortunately, I couldn't remember every single one of them, but it was really cool to see how many different parties there were. Also, I was asking my host family when it comes to just local elections, how are so many people able to run? Because this was honestly one of the biggest culture shocks for me is that in the US it costs so much money to run for a political office and it costs money even on a local level like I mean running for president costs millions and millions like only the really rich people can honestly run for president because it costs so much money but on senator levels and even local levels it costs a ton of money to run whereas in germany they said it's not as expensive likely and that politics is less about the money and more about the representation and i think that's really inspirational and i wish it was more like that in the u.s because here although some people manage to do it and there are ways to run even if you don't have a lot of money in general it is very hard to run for office without having a amount of funding behind you. Okay, so those were all of my shocks when it comes to running for office. My last political culture shock doesn't really have to do with elections. Instead, it's just about the number of immigrants that are currently living in Germany or people in Germany who have parents not from the country. I honestly had no clue that Germany was such a mixing bowl of people because I just assumed that they were all German, which was a bad assumption on my part. I should have done more research before going. But I thought it was really interesting to come to school and see that a lot of people are either first generation immigrants or they have parents who aren't from Germany. For example, one of my closest friends, her mom was from Poland and then I had, there were a ton of Russian people in Passau, so I swam with two girls who were both Russian. I think there was another uh, boy in my class who was Bulgarian, uh, another best friend of mine, her mom was Bulgarian. And then there were also some people from Romania, and then even one of my best friends from SWIM, she was Ungarish or from Hung Hung Hungary? Hungary? Hungary in English. I didn't realize how many people in Germany aren't 100% German, and that was a really cool aspect of living in Passau. Maybe it's not the same um, in all parts of Germany, so let me know in the comments below if your population or your city is also full of immigrants or full of very diverse people. I thought it was really cool to meet people and hear about different cultures that weren't just German because then I could experience other places of Europe that 
um, maybe I didn't know a lot about before moving to Germany. <laughs> So that was my last culture shock. These were just some things that I didn't know or that I thought were cool. If you have any comments about points that I made, please leave them down below and I'll read and try to respond to them. Uh, yeah, hopefully you come back for more videos next time about Germany or about the US. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Cheers!